man or a woman, a development e expert or a student, a CEO or concerned citizen, or even a reporter, you can do something to make girls' cause your cause. And together with girls around the nation, we can do something big. Young women around the world are standing up and sending out ripples of hope. Let us stand with them and together we can create a, a sea of change for girls and for Nigeria. Thank you. The normal reaction of a human being when they grab your wrist is to clench your fist tight and try to draw the hand. But I ask you not to do that. I ask you to push the hand forward and open the hand. I ask you to open. If you hold your partner's hand, you will find out that when they open the hand, the hand kind, the wrist kind of like expands and gets a little bit bigger. The next thing you're going to do, watch. The strongest part of this wrist, this is this side where the thumb is. This is the strong part of it. You are going to turn it to the weakest part of the grip. The weakest part is where his thumb and fingers are. So turn yours, good. Strongest part, the weakest part. The next thing you're going to do, and this is like a, a funny movement, you're going to push the elbow this way to touch here and turn this out. So you're going to twist like this, go twist. My name is Alfred Ohimai. I'm the chief instructor of the Nigerian Association of Shotokan Karate. For the Karate Association, just tell us how it has evolved in Nigeria and if people are really, really joining this uh, association and how it is so far in the country. Yeah, well, karate is a sport. It's an activity that has been going on for many years. Our association is there. We have been training. We are opening clubs in different places, you know, in the state and in Nigeria. It is something that you can do whether you're young or old. We've got people from 5, 65, 75 practicing. So it's great for health, it's great for technique, it's great for physical strength and flexibility and just to relax the mind. So I, I encourage people to go out there. We are a karate organization. Um, people can get in touch with us on the internet everywhere, just NASK, Nigeria, um, NASK. Um, and there are other clubs as well. I think it's a great thing, and I think a lot of ladies should spend some time and practice. Sex is the cement of joining in marriage. Sex is the cement of soul joining. So when they are together after sexual intercourse, so they become one person. Your body will necessarily not join together. But friends, your soul are joined together. When you want to build a house, this house was built in the same process you are talking about. You put a block here, and you put cement, and you put a block. What happens? They become one whole building. Is it possible to come back after a few days and come and remove the blocks? Say, no, you go away. That is the same way when you sleep with a guy that is not married to you. When you have sex, when you have sexual intimacy with a guy that is not married to you, one of the things you have done is that you have aligned your soul together. You have joined your soul together. You are in one soul you can form with that, with that person. And as, if you leave that person, you go to another person. You have also shared your soul with another person. And if you leave that person, you go to another person. Some people have shared their soul around Africa. <laughs> if you have spiritual heights, you can see their soul walking about everywhere. <laughs> if a guy comes and says, I love you, I do this, I do this, I do this, I talk about the stories. And next tomorrow, he goes away. It's will pay you, but it's not paying you so much. Praise God. Nobody's talking. It's okay, but he's not paying you that much. So, that's him good. I don't even like himself. Yes. That's why you remember all the faults in him. Yes. See his trouser. <laughs> so, you'll be confident enough to say all of those things. But guess what? When a guy has sex with you, say, ah, he used me. 
That means there is a soul union. You have given out something as a woman. The Bible says women submit. One of the greatest places where a woman can submit to anybody and the spirit subjected to a man is during sex. You have given your spirit to subject to that guy. And when he breaks away from you, you feel you have lost something. The teaching of sex in relationship is to preserve the woman more. That's why I'm happy that you are hearing this today. My name is Wale Olarapo, Fool Adewale Olarapo, okay. from David Christian Center. I'm representing Pastor Kisli Okonkwo. You're also a pastor there? Um, no, I'm a minister. Okay. It's great to have you. You spoke uh, elaborately about relationships. I just wanted to give us uh, clearly those key tips, those words that are needful for relationships because the values seem like they're eroding and this generation needs to get some very clear things. Okay. Uh, number one thing is that um, relationship is of God. And then the idea is that it leads to marriage. But one of the most misconceptions that people have generally is that they involve sex in relationship. And then beyond um, the norms that we always get, um, sex before marriage um, brings up a lot of brings up a lot of consequences. It's, it's not of God that um, it's not part of God. It's, 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 not, it's not God that's going to be offended or that's going to be hot when people go into relationship before marriage. It is the effect on human beings themselves. Apart from the um, sexually transmitted diseases and other things, what about the soul unity? And then what about the constitution in marriage? Sex from God was brought about to cement marriage. So when you use other, such things in the, in the normal relationship that is no marriage in focus now, you destroy the plan, you destroy the purpose. So people get themselves attached to a lot of people and they cannot even break up an abusive relationship because of that, because they are so sexually perverse. The fact that they had to learn a lot about self-defense, status, as, as regards rape, and also things soft on relationship, and the fact that we have to rub minds together to get to know where they're feeling the pain, where they're getting hurt and all that, and try to provide solutions in uh, our own um, capacity.